rock, most people enjoy a good story. Imagine a story where you rock. I challenge you to make a difference in the world and then share your story to inspire, bring hope and encouragement to others. Together, let us create a better, more peaceful world. Let's not just imagine world peace, let's work for it. Are you doing something rocking in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan, Canada or the world? I would love to have you on my show to share your rocking stories. We are here with Sylvia Chave, a children's entertainer. Welcome. Thank you. It's great to be here. Yes, yeah, so you're an entertainer. So tell us what, how you got started in this business. Oh my gosh, you know, it happened a long time ago. I got a job at the library in Delisle just as an assistant to get out of the house <laughs> in the evening. And uh, the librarian there said, Sylvia, do you think you could do some entertaining for library week at the school? And uh, I said, not on your life. <laughs> <laughs> but Claire Pattison, the other assistant librarian, said, oh, it'll be so much fun, Sylvia. So I dug out my guitar from university and we, we went and did some, some puppet plays and some songs and we came out of there just so happy. It was so much fun. And uh, then we found out that we could do it for a living and uh, yeah, I was hooked, hooked from that moment on. Claire went on to, to get a job with a pension mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, you know, so I went out on my own because I just couldn't leave it. I love it so much. And so do you have a stage name? Uh, yeah, my name is Singing with Sylvia, um, but I think I'm getting known well enough that maybe I just can go with Sylvia. Okay. <laughs> which is great. <laughs> yes, that is for sure. It's a, so why do you think it's so important to contribute music to the world? Well, especially for children, I think, uh, you know, you and I are from a different generation and in our houses you know our parents European were singing all the time there was lots of music in the household nursery rhymes all those kinds of things and and I think we're losing that mm -hmm. we've gone to a world where uh, we let Justin Bieber or uh, Drake or those big names be the singers we listen to and we sing along with but we don't have a lot of confidence to sing on our own and uh, for me singing is just joy mm -hmm. and I would take that away from nobody mm -hmm. you know I feel everybody should should have that joy in their life and that's an important uh, point that you're bringing up because uh, you know it builds a lot of confidence you know what are some of the health benefits of singing oh well I mean you're breathing alone you know mm -hmm. that you're breathing and and um, just the joy the happiness the release of those emotions the stress that's relieved you know you're driving home from work in your car and you're singing along at the top of your lungs you know you're just just letting everything go you're not carrying mm -hmm. those mm -hmm. burdens along with you mm -hmm. so you have some CDs out and yeah. so tell us a little bit about what kind of productions you're doing yeah well I, I I write all my own material okay. um, and uh, so that it all just comes from the things that I like. Someone said, oh, it's great that you write songs for children. I said, well, I don't really. I write songs for things that I really love and mm. children happen to love them too, you oh, know, like the wonderful. color orange. And mm -hmm. So I have those three CDs. I'm looking maybe at a Christmas one in mm -hmm. the near future because I have a lot of Christmas songs and that might, uh, you know, bring in a wider audience, which mm -hmm. of course is always nice because my children always grow up. So mm -hmm. unlike Bob Dylan, mm -hmm. I'm always looking for new people. I don't get to keep them. Mm -hmm. So there's always, you know, different ways you're trying to attract your audience. So what are the names of your CDs? Um, one with Prairie Patch, which Clara was called Surprise. My first single was called Renji Penji, which was about a song my dad, mm -hmm. uh, some a poem my dad had written that I put words to. And then my last one is just called um, The Orange Album. Oh, aren't those lovely and a wonderful contribution. That's why I wanted to have you on my show because you rock, because you're contributing something good to the world and that's always so important. And singing is such a beautiful tool and a valuable thing to do. So tell us what are some of the other projects that you're going to be working on? Um, well, I, uh, you know, I have my concert series at the refinery every year, four concerts that are there for Halloween, Christmas, March and in May and uh, then I also sing with a group of women called uh, Girls Like Us. It's mm -hmm. just something we've started. We're of a certain age they always say and you know I don't think our voice is being heard either. Mm -hmm. So it's really great that we'll be able to uh, to sort of bring out you know what we're thinking about, the things that are important to us to sing about. We're doing a concert uh, in April and um, as well I'm singing uh, at Prairie Oh, I won't even say the name, but it's uh, celebrating um, motherhood. So mm -hmm. I have a couple of songs because that's what I like to write when I write my adult material. I like to write happy songs sometimes mm -hmm. and about my children and the things that I remember from those days and love so much. 
Well, those are so important. And so your group of ladies, uh, you said, uh, where's their concert at? Um, it's going to be at uh, Guitar, and, Guitar and Amp downtown mm -hmm. on 20th Street, April 8th. Um, I think it's at 8 o'clock. Okay. I'm just making the poster now. Sure. You think I could remember these things. Mm -hmm. Okay. Village Guitar and Amp. Okay, great. Yeah. And so if people want to get tickets, do they need advanced tickets or how does it work? Well, advanced tickets are $12, are $12 and at the door are 15 and you can get them at picketic.com. Mm -hmm. So do you have a website? I do, www.singingwithsylvia.com. And you know, all my music is there that I've recorded and there is no charge for it because I don't want money to be a barrier mm -hmm. to people and families enjoying music. Well, isn't that a wonderful thing? Boy, that's really wonderful. <laughs> yeah, well. So tell us what other projects that you foresee doing down the road. Well, I'm trying to get a few more videos done. You know, in this new age, mm -hmm. videos really seem to be uh, really important. And um, so I've just had a girl from grade six do a stop animation video for me that we're going to unveil at the Marshmallow Treat in March and it's just amazing for the cookie cutter song and I'm hoping to do a little more of that. I really like the idea that um, I have younger kids mm -hmm. making videos for mm -hmm. a children's entertainer. Mm -hmm. um, you know they are an untapped resource. So they have time, they have energy, they have great imaginations mm -hmm. and so I'm really excited about where that's going to take me and my music. And, and my they're career. really technically with it. So savvy. <laughs> so so savvy. savvy. There's That's no two sure. ways about it. That's for sure. So tell us about your marshmallow treat. Oh, the, yeah, the yeah. marshmallow treat is uh, on the uh, 9th and 10th. It's, uh, oh no, 16th and 17th. Sorry, there's so many dates swimming around sure. in my head. But you can find all the information on my website. It's at the refinery in Saskatoon. Mm -hmm. There's three shows, 1030 both days and one o'clock on the first day and then an evening one at seven o'clock. Mm -hmm. And uh, it just has been so well attended by um, preschools and their moms, preschools, daycares, grandmas bring their kids mm -hmm. out. You know, there's a way to start a tradition with your grandchildren. Not always about giving them things, you know, or having, but is here's something you can go and enjoy the gift of music with your grandchildren. I really also love that. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't anticipate that uh, mm -hmm. happening as much as it's happening, but mm -hmm. it's really, really exciting. Well, and I want to just talk about that, about the gift of music. That is so important. So how do you see that fitting into your world, the gift of music? Yeah, I, I wish that everybody would sing and I wish they'd realize the importance of it and not think about, I don't have a singing voice. Just sing. Sing to your babies. Sing to your children. The language alone. You know, we know that reading is important, and, and but the language, there's another way to get language and rhyming. Um, you know, we can give our children so many tools that will carry them into their uh, older life that we, we don't have to do anything about. You know, language is so important. If you want to if they want to write their own songs or be storytellers you know it's important to have a great wide variety of, of vocabulary and music is a great way to introduce them to that it conveys so many emotions you're happy you're sad I want to put you to sleep I want to tell you not to do something I want to tell you to do something I wrote a song called a mama says no and it goes oh mama said no and oh mama said no and oh well mama says no she means no but we all know that mama knows best well now I've used a couple of no's in there that are not spelt the same and have different meanings kids won't get that until they're older but I actually wrote it because I'm a mom mm -hmm. and we're always telling our kids no it seems you know why are we telling them no you know and here's a way for mom to sing you know I'm just telling you no here's why let's everybody sing it together and move on because I'm not going to change my mind <laughs> as opposed to you know always nagging or yelling or you know music has so many so many great possibilities for parents well what a beautiful voice you have oh thanks and I already feel better hearing you sing <laughs> do you want to <laughs> sing a little bit more for us well one that I wrote and I sing to my grandson and we FaceTime all the time is about a clock and you put your hands up like this and you go the clock goes tick tock tick Tuck, and the pendulum swings. The clock goes tick, tock, tick, tock, and the pendulum swings. And when both arms point up high, a bird comes out with a cry. He says, I'm cuck, 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 cuck for you. Oh. 
Oh, isn't that wonderful and very special? It is so special, but a mom can rock her newborn. You can hold your baby out in your arms, or I always used to have um, Bryson in my arms like this, facing a mirror, because he didn't know me as well, because they do live quite far away, but I wanted to sing and hold him while I did it. So he would look into the mirror and I would sing. But now when I sing that song on FaceTime, he knows instantly you know, who it is, and his face just lights up, and well, we all know that what that does for our hearts. Well, it does, and you have a big heart. I can see oh, that. Thank you. And so I'm really, really pleased to have you on my show. And remind us again of your website. It's www.singingwithsylvia.com. So even if you just remember Sylvia, you should be okay. <laughs> well, thank you again. And well, thank you, music Marianne. is so important and you have a beautiful gift. And I'm glad you were here to share it with the world. Well, you do world. as well. So thanks for having me on the show. I appreciate it. We'll be right back.